wanted to do something a little bit different today and that was to go over some applications that I use on my iPhone to figure out whether I'm going to fly or not and uh, figure out uh, what the forecast is going to be for the upcoming week. And on the screen that you see now, I've got some of my favorite uh, apps that I use. That's Fly Sky High, Windy, UAV Forecast, Wind Compass, and another version of Windy, My Radar, Zello for Communications, Wind Mapper, Balloonist Wind by Ryan Carlton, my GoPro app, Pandora to listen to a little bit of music, and a test flight app that's uh, part of a beta testing for Zello. My other folder that I have has a bunch of other applications that I use occasionally, but not as often as I do uh, the main ones. But I want to talk about one of the main programs that I have recently been using, and that's called UAV Forecast. UAV Forecast is an application that you can set up uh, however you want to set it up, with the wind chill being whatever you want it to be, the wind, the gust, wind direction, uh, precipitation, cloud cover, visibility, and you set it to what you want it to be. So I set mine to 10 mile an hour wind, gust 10 mile an hour. So anything less than that, uh, it'll come up green and say that it's good. And everything that's set up the way you want it, if it turns up green, then you'll get a notification that it's good to fly. So it's pretty idiot proof so that you can basically set the settings that you like and when they meet those settings it'll be all green and be good to fly. And I find it really good. The screen that, that you see now is basically a weekly view and it'll show you what's going to go on that week. Uh, if it's red it's going to be a bad time to fly. So you want to make every, sure, sure everything is green. On this page here shows you all the altitudes uh, for that day, uh, what the wind speed is going to be at that altitude. And as you can see here, they're all red because I have it set up at green as green as should be 10 miles an hour or less, and that's wind and gust. On the next page, you can see is your map, and that map shows your TFRs, no TAMs, and uh, large airports, medium, small airports, helo ports, and so forth. And that helps you know if you're going to be flying around any areas that could be controlled. You can also view this map in road, satellite, hybrid, and terrain view. So you can use it to, to help you while you're flying around or looking around where you want to fly. The next screen is your settings. And it talks about uh, basically your thresholds that you can set up to how you want to fly. And it also has the settings uh, to set for max wind, gust, wind altitude, uh, weather temps, maximum precipitation, your clouds, your visibility, and so forth. So this is a real good application that you can use that basically tells you fly or don't fly. And that's all set up by you setting up those thresholds that you want for you to go out. So I like uh, my weather to be above 50 degrees with minimum winds of 10 below both wind gust and no uh, and standard wind as well as no precipitation. So if you can get all that uh, to just basically tell you go fly, that's the application you're looking for. The next app that I like to use is called Windy and you can set up your favorite locations and take a look at how the wind is going out in that area and you can also see the wind uh, at ground level and you can also see wind gust and you can tell what it's going to be day to day for up to seven days it has a lot of other information that's real helpful it uh, shows you a map of the location that you're going to fly in so you can kind of get a overview of where the wind is coming from on that map uh, to help you decide uh, where it's going. You always want to have uh, some sort of wind direction, a uh, ribbon, uh, weather vane, or something on the ground to help you out. But using these apps will give you an idea so when you go there and you set up to go flying, you'll at least have an idea of uh, what the winds are going to be like. I don't always trust all these apps, but I use them as a guide to uh, before I go flying. Another app that I like to use is called Fly Sky High. And if you have an iPhone, you're in luck. As of right now, they don't have an application for Androids. 
But some of the features about uh, Fly Sky High that I really like is that you can set up waypoints, fly book, a flight book, so you can record all your flights. You can preload information, and it has some settings that you can set up for your flight. What I normally use it for is my flight, so I can basically track my flights, see where I'm going, and to also record that information. So after my flight, I can review where I've been, what my altitude was, my max speeds, and other information that uh, the flight book handles. And you can track how long you flew and the date you flew. So it's kind of a log. I'd like them to add some notebook uh, areas so that you could actually put your own notes. But as of right now, there are no notebook area in this application. So anyway, a real popular program, Fly Sky High, available for iPhones only at this time. Another application I like to use is a browser application, and it's RyanCarlton.com. This application allows you to see the ground, the wind speed, at different levels uh, of elevation, and you can view it for several hours ahead of time. I really like this application. It's really a good one to look at to get an idea of what the wind speeds are like. The one thing that I'd like to see added to it would be the gust so that you would know what the gusts are as well as just standard wind speed. RyanCarlton.com, a really good app to add to your collection of wind speed apps. The next application that I like to use is also a browser app and it's called WindMapper.com and that's WindMapper.com and this is a real good application that you can pop in your zip code and get the location and look at the wind speeds and it has several days in advance and it also shows wind speed and gust wind speed so it has both and it also has some other information on there as well as cloud rain pressure temp and a real good application all right well that sums it up those are some of the programs that I use before I go flying I'll take a look normally about a week out and see if any days are coming up that uh, might be uh, low winds, low gust, warm temperature, no rain. And recently, there's very few of those here in Ohio. So I want to thank everybody for watching. If you have any comments or questions, any suggestions, uh, please feel free to write those in and uh, let me know what uh, you'd like to see. And we'll try to make a video of those uh, areas that you're interested in. But uh, stay tuned and more videos to come. We're still early in the year. And thanks for watching. And you guys have a great day and be safe.